On the LSAT, just because two things happen together doesn't mean one caused the other. That's classic correlation doesn't equal causation flaw. Take this example. Students who drink coffee tend to score higher on exams. Therefore, coffee improves test performance. Sounds reasonable at first, right? But dig deeper. Maybe coffee drinking students study more or are more motivated overall. And coffee is just along for the ride. Correlation rather than causation. This is exactly how the LSAT tries to trick you. Whenever a conclusion claims a cause, ask yourself, could there be an alternative cause? Could the direction be reversed? Maybe doing well on exams makes students stay up late and drink coffee. Or is it all just a coincidence? The takeaway? Correlation alone does not prove causation. The LSAT expects you to spot that gap, especially in weakened strengthen or assumption questions. So if you see a causal claim, don't just nod along, interrogate it.